All right, uh, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, for the wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and the gospel of his truth. Um, I want to start off with saying, um, excuse my uh, appearance here, but um, it's actually uh, 35 to 40 degrees outside. So, um, you know, uh, it is what it is. Uh, anyway, um, I just wanted to uh, do a little video real quick um, on the uh, the food shortages. Okay, now um, now if you go to these grocery stores, man, you're gonna see that um, it isn't a damn joke, man. All right, stuff is starting to fly off the shelves, man. Okay, so fast that these stores they can't keep up with uh. With restocking these, uh, you know, these shelves. Okay, they can't keep up with it because the stuff is just uh, is going off uh, the shelves too quickly. Okay. Um, so what does that mean? One, obviously, that uh, that implies that there will be shortages of of goods that people need to. Um, on the average day, okay, what they need to get through the day. Um, so, um, right now, where you have the opportunity, which right now, I believe today's date is, uh, was it September the 2nd? I mean, September the 22nd, um, 2020, right? Right now, we have um, a window of opportunity to get some last minute, you know, uh, preparation you know, stuffs, for lack of better words, um, before, you know, the average, you know, peon goes out there and, uh, you know, goes out there and, and starts to, you know, stockpile. Because when they do, they ain't joking around, man. All right, you'll see them walking around, damn, you know, damn two free carts full. All right, so, you know, what does that mean? We got 10 people doing that. That's going to take the supply down dramatically. Okay, it could have been at 50% before, but then it's going to go down to 5% if you have 10 people doing that in, in one day. Okay, which odds are you're going to have many more than that in 24 hours um, at the same store. Um, so right now, you got to get what you need to get, why you can get what you can in other words, as the saying goes, you know, hey, get going while the going's good. Yeah, so, hey, get prepping while the prepping is good. Matter of fact, that might be a nice name for this video. All right, get prepping while the prepping is good. <laughs> Inside joke. Um, but but as I said, man, uh, which so it's lucky if you hear that sound in the background, that clicking noise. I'm actually, uh, I'm just cooking a pizza back there. So that's just the timer ticking down, um, in case you were wondering what the sound was, uh, anyway, um, the other day I stopped at, um, I stopped at Dollar Tree, and, um, usually I don't get the cans from there, the reason why, is let's just say the, the Chef Boyardee, or the Chief Biscadio, as I call it, um, I used to get them there, but then I stopped doing it, because I stopped going to Walmart for like a couple months, you know, because, you know, the whole Corolla situation was bad there. So I thought, eh, I'll just stay away from there. So I end up going back and I look at the canned goods and the Chef Boyardee is 88 cents a can. But at the Dollar Tree, it's a dollar a can. Some of them might even charge tax, depends on the one that you go to. All right, I've been to ones that do not charge tax on the cans. However, I've been to some who get away with doing it. Um, but anyway... Um, I decided to go back to Dollar Store to see what canned goods they have and what might be worth a dollar, you know, and storing away. Um, so I ended up getting, um, beans. Okay, I ended up getting beans. I don't have one here to show you at the moment, but, um, I showed it in my uh, previous video I did when I was sitting in the car. Um, I showed that the can of beans um that they have at the dollar store 
Okay, and that that's a that's a nice that's nice, man. That's one and a half pounds of beans. Okay, like like I mean they're already cooked. Of course, you know they're not going to taste good cold, but I mean you could always eat them cold if you needed to. Okay, so I mean a one count a one pound can for a dollar, that's not bad, man. Okay, so I'm going to go down there and pick up two more pallets of those today. When I say pallets, I mean, you know, the boxes, which are um, like 12, yeah, 12 a, uh, a pallet. So it's 24 cans. Uh, and let's just say for some reason there's little tax involved for whatever reason. Uh, I'm banking on it's going to cost $25, uh, you know, a little less than that. Uh, but I always keep my spare change. So we'll just add it all up to $25. Okay, and that's how you trick yourself into saving money. Okay, is you always keep your spare change. Okay. Because I always see people at the store, you know, they always say, yeah, keep, just keep the change. Even when it's as much as 70 cents. I mean, goddamn. I mean, that, that's, that's going to add up, man. And I speak from experience. Within 19 months, I saved over $1,100. And just keeping all my spirit change. Okay? Not including bills. Alright? Because I was around altogether. I ended up saving in 19 months about $4,500. Okay? But that's a story for another time. That's a story for another time. Uh, but you know what the benefit of all that is? You know, by putting away that emergency fund, I was able to invest in some silver a couple weeks ago. And I was able to spend $1,000 on the emergency um, you know, goods that, you know, me and my family, you know, will need, you know, when the shortages come. Okay. Um, so as I was saying, I was at the, you know, the Dollar Tree, you know, I was looking at, you know, what they got there. And I found the, you know, the canned beans. Um, I believe, I think they're called Hanover or something like that. I'm sure y'all might have seen the can I've talked about before. Uh, if not, you can just look it up online. I think it's called Hanover. They got that dude on the side of it. But anyway, um, you know, right now, you know, this is the time to get more canned goods for your for your house, man. Okay, now yeah, it depends on what you eat. Some, you know, might get the canned chicken, some might get the you know, the the other cans. But one thing that I recommend staying away from is pasta and stuff like that and the only reason i say that now let me say this i recommend having maybe a week or two of pasta in the house of course right because every, everybody likes pasta however don't be stocking away a couple months of it you know why because let's just say a emp happens okay or for whatever reason all the power goes out in the city then what are you gonna do how are you gonna cook the pasta i mean you can't bring out the little camp stove because people a mile away are going to smell that and hunt you down, right? If they're starving because there's no food. You got to think about these things. However, if can, can, and food, majority of them, you can just open it and eat it there on the spot, man. And guess what? As long as it's not cooked, it barely gives off any smell. So what does that mean? You get yourself a meal. Now, it's going to be cold um, or room temperature. Um, which could be warm. Um, but the point of the matter is eating a cold meal might be more beneficial than uh, making a fire to heat it up or some type of heat source to, to, to heat the food up. But it's going to draw more attention because of the smell will go further and further. Okay? Depending on how much the food is heated up. Uh, just always something to think about. Because right, a lot of guys don't talk about it. I see these videos of these, you know, preppers out here. And what they're doing is they're stocking away all these freeze-dried food. And don't get me wrong, I had some of that. Okay, I had some of that. But I learned a lesson. A couple years ago, I want to say four or five years ago, a friend of mine gave me um, two whole pallets. Like, I mean, you know, the big boxes. Like, I think there was like, uh, what was it? like 20 MREs in each, like the, you know, the military MREs, they have their own heater and, you know, the food in it, they don't have water and keep that in mind. They don't have water. They have even a Tootsie Roll in there, 
you know, um, graham cracker, crackers, uh, uh, um, pop tart, you know, and, and the main meal, right? So, uh, I ended up getting rid of all those. Okay, so I ended up getting rid of them. I sold them for uh, 60 bucks. The reason why is because um, they were coming to the time of the expiration date. So somebody offered me, hey man, I see the date on them. They're running out. You know, they only got, you know, eh, half a year until the expiration date. Now, obviously, I know it lasts longer than that. But maybe they not, may not have known that. Okay, maybe they didn't know that or maybe they did. I don't know, but that's irrelevant. Um, so I agreed, you know, yeah, man, I'll, I'll sell you all of them for 60 bucks just to get rid of them. Now, why did I want to get rid of the MREs? Somebody's going to say, well, that's a stupid thing. Why would you want to get rid of the MREs? Wouldn't you want those around? Well, here's the thing. Each of those MREs require water just to heat the food up itself. Okay. Um, and if you ever heated any of those things, you know that's not fun to do, man. Okay? So, I think about it. It's like, why would I have, I think, what did I say? It was like 20 in a, in a pallet or something like that? Altogether, there was a good amount of them. Okay? I don't know. There was probably about 50 of them. Because I had a few of them that were not in the pallet. So, we'll just say 50. Okay? Um, which, keep in mind, I actually sold... Um, all together, I actually got 80 for him because I sold some of them to another guy for like 25 bucks, but then the other guy got them for 60. Okay. So I sold them to two different people. So basically around 80 bucks for everything. Uh, I had to add that in there, of course. Um, so what I was thinking is, okay, well I'll sell these because I don't want to use more resources than I need to, to cook food. Besides, I didn't really like the food anyway. Because I've had a couple of them before, you know, just to, to see how to make them and, you know, whatnot. I had some of them. I mean, the food was okay. It was okay. But it wasn't, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It wasn't, you know, great is a good word to use. All right? It wasn't great. Um, But the what main reason I look at it is you're going to have to use more of your resources to be able to cook that that food, so your water to, to heat the heater up for the food. And then you got to add your own water to drink with the meal because they're those kind of meals that you got to have water with. You know what I'm saying? Um, especially, you know, with the cracker and, you know, the other stuff in there. Um, but I do like they did give you a salt and pepper packet, so that's always good. Uh, so, yeah, I got lucky with that. But anyway, um, you know, I had to follow, okay, well, I'm going to sell all, the, all these for like 80 bucks. And then I'm going to go out to the store and get myself $80 worth of canned goods. So, now I'm sitting on $80 worth of canned goods back when that happened. And I just lost out on the 50 MREs. So, guess what? Now I got food for much longer. Because if you really need to, if you really need to, you could live off one can a day. If you needed to, it'd be better to do two a day, but you could always ration it out if, if needed. You really only need water, and that's the main thing you need to, you know, store up, okay? Because remember, man, a lot of these, you know, preppers, you know, they don't really think things through a lot of the time. Some of them do, I'll give them that, but some of them don't. And it's a great example that I gave. Why would you store up all these freeze-dried food that you need water and a heat source to be able to, to heat up? But what happens if you're not able to use a heat source for whatever reason? Then what are you going to do? All right. So it's much more sufficient to have canned goods because a vast majority of them can be eaten by just opening up the can. Okay, very simple. Okay, so in my eyes, the canned goods are 100 times better than the MREs and all these other you know, mountain house meals and all that. And that's just my opinion on it. But if you're going to ask me, with a budget, what you want to store up is canned goods. Now, always make sure the cans are in great condition. Uh, no bumps if possible. 
uh, well, no bum salt together. Stay away from that. Uh, because pretty much, you know, if it's bumpy right now, it's going to get worse as time goes on. So it's going to be a meal that you're not going to be able to eat. Therefore, wasting space. Um, pretty much that's all I want to get into for this video here. Um, the point of the matter is the food um, shortages are just about here. Uh, by all means, go out and, you know, preparate right now. Because very soon, man, it ain't going to be, it's not going to be fun out here. We'll just say that. Right? Soon people are going to be starving in the streets and, you know, much more worse than that. You know what I'm saying? Um, but anyway, with that being said, I can say to you all.